Hello, wherever you watching me from, this is Ibax Lokomana, your tutor, teacher from the Davis Learning Institute based in Germany, the city of Hamburg. Here we are, to the Learning Institute, soon Central Hamburg University. Hello, Zambia. I'm starting with Zambia because we've got a lot of German classes running right here, right there in Zambia, Lusaka, Eastern Province, uh, Mochina Province, Southern Province, Kobabe Province, and many more other provinces. Why? Because we are here to strengthen the educational, social, and economic road between Zambia and Germany, among many other big world countries. Here is Ivan Sukumana now continuing with our sixth lesson. I'm pretty sure we discussing something from this book, recommended book, one of the best German books. Okay, you want to get this copy for yourself. Okay, sixth lesson we continue is called Meine Family, my family. So what I'm going to do at the moment is to share the screen so that I get back to my usual lovely board. Okay, so if you remember the last time that we met, this is where exactly we ended. Okay, you remember discussing here and here and here. Now we're gonna go forth or forward to our next part. Here we go. Say try or see to das ist das sind. Okay, this is. These are, remember in this case, das, you know, goes for both singular and plural. Lesen Sie die Informationen und schreiben Sie. You know this, lesen Sie, read the informations. Now here you're learning another uh, word. If I remove en, okay? It's going to be information. Of course, just like in English, it's going to be information. But when you add en, it becomes information. Plural. Then check what you are having here. The article is D. Okay? Why is D coming in? Because you have got plural. Okay? D information. Und schreiben Sie. Schreiben is to write. Please take notes always. Just, don't just listen to me. You want to take some notes and translate as I'm translating for you. Und schreiben Sie. This is the verb to write. Okay? Now, this is first information, second information, third information. Erste Information, zweite Information, Dritte information. Don't worry about the numbers. We are coming to counting, okay? And you're going to get it right. Here we go. Now, this is a card, okay? Sorry. We've got a card here. And what's there? Tao, Sheng. I think this is China. Yes. China. In German, we say China. Österreich. Österreich is Austria, okay? Now, look at the example given here. You or me is trying to describe this person, okay? Beschreibung auf Deutsch. Das sind Amir und Maya Nafid. Sie kommen aus Iran. Yes. Let them see in. Okay. This picture here is describing this couple. So, before we come back to our friend, um, He Chen, let us go according to the example given here initially. Now, Amir und Maya Navid. Iran. Deutschland. They come from Iran, Iran, but they live in Deutschland. Now let's check it out. 
So, ich habe mich hingelesen. Dies, okay, das sind Amir und Werner Wien. Okay? Dies, dies are Amir und Maya David. Sie kommen aus Iran. They come from Iran. Jetzt leben sie in Deutschland. Okay, meaning they come, they come from Iran now, please. This word yes means now. Okay, leben sie. They live in Germany. Okay? Sometimes we hear people say, yes, sie leben in Deutschland. You know, intertwine, interchanging here. Also, it goes, but this one is the standard. Take it like that. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take that out. Let's go back to this person here, description. This is plural. Okay? Plural. That's why we are saying the common, the common, because there are two, it's plural. The, they. But are we still going to say common with a single person? Now you know this. Reference to singular. Okay. Reference to singular. So we are going to say, in this case, please take a pen and start writing, or you can write afterwards. Okay? We are giving you the description. Das ist Tao Chen. Er kommt aus China. Jetzt lebt er in Österreich. Okay? Take note what I've said. So what I have changed here is, I repeat, I take the same format, but for a singular person, okay? Das ist, here I'm going to put ist, you want to write ist, das ist Tao Cheng, full stop. Instead of Z, because it's alone, you are going to put air, E, R, you have done already. Er kommt. Remove E N and put T. Er kommt aus China. China comes here. Yes. Instead of Leben, because it's alone, you're going to remove E N and put letter T. Okay, yes. Lebt er in Österreich. Simple as all that. You can describe your partner in class as well as where your partner comes from. Okay, a he or a she. Then this is how you describe. For instance, you're gonna come here, you are in Germany, somebody asks you about your friend. Okay, description. This is the same way you are gonna do it. Singular, check the way you end the verbs. Plural, check the way plural all the time, end with E N or E A N in German. Okay? With the verbs, kommt aus singular, kommen aus plural. As simple as all that. The same rules of the verb conjugations are following. As you remember what I told you right in the first class. Okay, if you understand these rules, here we go. I think I've got them here. Grammar, very good. These rules are the same ones. We are. Applying. So what are we talking about? Where are we? We are here. Air or Z. Okay? Comment. We have comment here. We don't have. Okay? We don't have comment, but the same principle. Oh, we've got Leben. Original verb, Leben. The moment we say air or Z, as she, we say Lept. Lept. Like you have seen with Tao Chen. They are left in post right. Oh, stop disturbing me here. Oh, stop disturbing me. Okay. So we're going to follow the same. Look. T, 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 ending all the verbs. Getting back to my original. Good. So now, 
here, you've got another person you have to describe or give a report about this person. Name, Aba, or Wusu in English. But in German, we're going to read Aba or Wusu. Okay, because this is like V, this is like Z. Land, Ghana. Land, Deutschland. So, in any case, Aba also comes from Ghana. Now she lives in Deutschland or in Germany. How are you going to do this one? Okay, take a pause, press the pause button, write it yourself, then I'm going to continue showing you. Welcome back. I know you did pause and you did write something. Pretty good. Now, this is the way you should have written it. I'm going to describe her. Das ist Abba Ovuzu. She's a woman, remember? Sie kommt, kommt aus Ghana. Yes. Left Z in Deutschland. Now, the Z we are using here, don't say ah, we used Z for plural and we are using Z for singular. Yes, in this case, the Z behaves as she. Okay? Here, the Z was they. Remember, I told you Z applies to respect, plural, and she. Okay? So check the context. We are discussing here. Pretty good. We continue. So you are able to describe anybody. Simple terms as said here. Here we go. Let's continue. Okay. C dry C3. They are este a bike stag. Oh my god. Moving up. They are este. Este means first. Write down. We are coming to that. So this is the article. They are este. The first. Now, Abai Stag. You know this one here. We did. Guten Tag. Tag means they. Abai. Abai means to work. This is a verb. Ah, oh, we did that on the verbs. Perfect. So, S, there's a letter S. You know, normally when we combine two different or more different German words, we always put what we call the connecting letter. So, in this case, the connecting letter for Arbeit and Tag is letter S. So, it becomes Arbeit's Tag, meaning a work day, okay, or a day that you are working about stag. For instance, Monday or Montag, about stag, Dienstag or Tuesday, about stag, Mittwoch or Wednesday, about stag, Donnerstag or Thursday, about stag, Friday or Friday, about stag. Okay? So all these are weekdays, about stag in German week. Go like that way. So take note, important. Oh, we've got CD here, but no problem as usual. We're going to do it our own way. Ah, there's Zagt das from Zagen. Okay, who says? Remember, you end with S, you bring in T from the original verb, Zagen. Who says, okay, this? Okay, who says this? After listening to the CD, Oren Z und Kreuz sind Z and listen and cross out the correct. Okay, is it Clara or Merima? After listening to the CD, and you go back, don't worry, you're going to listen to the CD later on. But if you don't have the CD, get this book. It's got all the CDs, okay? Eins. The highest do, we're just going to define this. Informal, okay, what's your name? Try, wer seid 
ear, their side ear. Very important. You are meeting this for the first time. This is where you are asking one question. This means, who are you? Okay? Who are you to plural? That is, you are asking more than one person at the same time. Two people, three people, five. Okay. I don't want to ask one by one. I just come in, I find four or three people. Oh, hello. Good and tired. They are like here. Who are you? Always take note. Okay? Take note. Single question directed to many people. So you use their side ear. Okay? But now let's get back to some revision. If you are asking one person, okay, it's going to be informal, their beast do. B I S T. We have done this. Their beast do. Okay? Informal. If you are asking one person, Formal, you're going to say, there zind z. Okay, there zind z. Take note. This one is for plural. Good. Number dry. Boheya kont here. The same thing. Single question. Okay, single question addressed to plural. So, this lady in actual sense, this lady. Clara is asking Marina and Anisa one question. Okay? Push together, directed to plural or to two people. So, for her, quote her, where do you come from? Meaning both of you. So, remember, if we use here, we use here the verb ends also with letter T. Okay? Air, and we speak. Sometimes during the final exams or during a test, they will say complete the sentence. They will remove here, count, and just put air at the end. What comes here? So figure out. Just know air brings in T at the end of the day. Check it out here. Back to the grammar. Like here. You see, ear, ear brings in t t t t t t all throughout. Okay, this is lachen, leben, wohnen. All these are ending in end as origin, no verbs. But as long as you employ air, everything is going to end with t. We did this. I won't spend much time. These are just the rules. That's why I say do not proceed on to the next lesson. E, you haven't done this. No rush. You better go back. Otherwise, you're going to think this language is too hard. Here we go. Back. Okay. Good. So, for here comes air. Okay. Fear. Now, they respond. They answer here. Fear. Komen aus Bosnien. Bosnien is Bosnia. Okay, you know Bosnia, is Kovina. I think a long time ago now it's Bosnia. So why Komen? The verb changes because we are using via. Okay, via Komen. You see what I meant? When you understand the verbs and the conjugations, everything in this book is going to be much easier for you. Here we go. That's why we are saying. German made easy for English speakers. Well, I'm using English so that you understand the instructions. Don't blame me to say that I'm teaching German language, I'm using English. No, that's the hardest way to learn a language. I'm going to teach German in the language that you understand so that quickly the rules enter into your bones and you are easily able to flow. Okay? Perfect. When you are done, that's when you're going to speak everything right in German language. Here we go. Let's move on. Now, from here, let's take the rules here. We have done this. Via common. We come 
wer sind we are er kommt okay er sei okay explained already here let's move on there in course that is the same like in english course okay german course mathematics course and so forth in course write down that gehen sie so zweit erum und fragen sie andere okay so now in the course these people are in the course let's say german class so gehen sie go out okay in this atmosphere in this room and randomly for instance you start asking somebody like you are coming you are for the first time in a German language then you have to ask somebody you can ask two people at the same time okay I'm even probably I'm asking two uh, gentlemen or two boys okay they are right here who are you then this one is going to say ich bin John the other one is going to say ich bin Justin for instance okay okay and so forth just like we have done about this is what we are simply saying fragen und fragen sie andere fragen please we've done this already fragen is to ask andere means other okay Pare. without e here without a pa means pair okay with e pare means pairs in plural so take note okay fragen z and then ask other pair so you come from this pair you go to another pair to another pair that's why they're saying pare okay expression z mit ihrem namen so when you're speaking please speak with your names don't use the names right you are seeing right uh, in the book here okay so now this is the sample let's check it out somebody goes out asking hello there right here okay you see there right here he's asking two people okay there sind so that's why they leave the gaps here because you have to put your names okay there sind for example Anna und Maria we are Anna and Maria. He continues. For her kommt her. Where do you come from? Okay, her because it's asking plural. They are coming out Zambia. I'm gonna say Zambia. They are coming out Zambia in Tika or in Livingston or in Kalulushi. These are some of the cities, right, uh, in Zambia, in case you are watching us from another country. Okay, let's check another example here. Hello, they are right here. Same. Now look at the split. Here, the response was done by one person. There, the question was directed to two persons. Then one responded for both. That's why. He or she is saying, there, sind, there, okay, common. Now here, one out of two persons, this is the other variant, one person can answer, okay, for each one. So here we go. Hello, there, seid er. Then, das is, so one person now is pointing finger to the friend. Das ist, for instance, Anna und Ich bin Maria. You get a power of what to say. Okay? So Maria introduces Anna first, then she says, and I am Maria. That is Anna und ich bin Maria. Cool. Check it out. Woher kommt her? The same question. Where do you come from? So you see, again split response. Ich komme aus. Now we're going to say Zambia und mm -hmm, here. Anna kommt aus Bangladesh. 
for instance. Oh, ich komme aus Zambia und sie kommt aus Bangladesh. Everything was. It's becoming much easier. German made simple, very much easier for you guys. Here we go. We're going to continue. Don't forget to take notes. Mm. Now, here we go. The numbers. Okay? Numbers. De. Zahlen. Not Zahlen. Remember, Z sounds like S. Zahlen und Personalien. Okay? County numbers and personals. Now here, CD again, but I'm gonna read for you, don't worry. No, you got no CD. D1, D1. Hören Sie und sprechen Sie nach. Listen and speak after. Or repeat, whatever you wanna call it. Here we go. Listen to me, pretty good here. If you know how to count up to 20, then you have counted all the numbers, okay, in German. Here we go. I say, in, I'm gonna say in English, then pronounce here. Oh, I don't say it because you can already see the numbers are there. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, elf, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now I want to give you some trick stuff here. I'm going to unveil some trick stuff here. Just take the trouble to master from here. Null bis ten. Just master here. If you master here, through from here, we are going to be repeating the same stuff, just combining what you've got above here. What do I mean? Okay, elf, okay, these are totally different, elf, twelve. Now from here, look at this, that's why it's, it's done like this, red and the color of three. You are simply saying dry and ten, or three and ten put together, that's why you start, you know, in German, we start measuring the numbers from right to left. So 13, we are simply saying it is dry, which is this one, and 10. Look at the way I split. Look at that. So dry and 10. This put together, dry 10 becomes 13. Dry ten. Equal here, look at this. Okay? It is fear or four, fear and ten. So that man or that can be a fear ten. Also here, fourth and ten or ten is going to be fourth. Ten, four, ten. So put just add the two words here. Same thing. It's even becoming boring because you've understood the principle. Sixteen. Also, six. But take note on sixteen. We don't put the s. We throw away the l. S. Okay. It's just going to be the the sin the sin. But still. We are saying this and that. 17, same stuff. Okay. Sieben, sieben, stand alone. Okay. 
Then if you have to put it in 10, remove en. It's just going to be zip same. Zip same. 18. Check it out. 10 here. What are you doing? You are taking exactly ah same. Just like here. Ah same. 19, the same thing. 10 always at the end. 9, 10, 19. Then this, I call it the border, the border number. Okay, grams. That's height that is now 20. Swansig. Swansig. Okay, I'm going to get that. Out perfect. Swansik. So twenty one. What is twenty one going to be? Twenty one. You are just going to be borrowing the same. It's going to be. This is how we write twenty one. Okay. So you are going to mention this first. One and twenty. So it's going to be. I. I don't. Ein und zwanzig. Now we are going to put und in between. Und. Und means and. Because we are going for higher figures now. Okay. We are going for higher figures. So it's going to be one and twenty. Ein und zwanzig. And so on and so forth. Let's go to the next page so that you understand this pretty good. Numbers. Let's check. I have prepared something for you guys. Okay. Look at what you are seeing here. Oh, that's my alarm telling me that my time is up. I'm going to pick the lesson from here. See you in the next lesson. Evans Kukumana signing off. Okay. See you right in the next course. My alarm is never friendly. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. We're going to meet right in the next lesson. Even so, coming from the Best Learning Institute, signing off from another part of my family, my family lesson. See you.